first. Live from Canterbury College on their creative festival evening. Get the extra big one in your life. Extra. It's KMFM Extra live from Canterbury College. Friday evening, this is Rob Wills. Hello and welcome. It's the Creative Arts Festival 2011 tonight. It's the big opening of the radio station. We're broadcasting live from there as we speak. In the studio with us, Mark Howland. He's a faculty head at the college. A stack of students who have achieved massive, massive things over the last years. We'll be talking to uh, them very, very soon as well. As well as that, a stack of fresh hit music first, but tonight it's less about the music and more about the achievement. Head to the website for more, canterburycollege.ac.uk to find out what this is all about and stick around for the next hour as we give you a guided tour through one of the most successful colleges in the county. It's Extra. Extra. From Canterbury College creative festival evening the memory of you still lingers right hello welcome to the show it's the extra big one live from canterbury college it's the creative arts festival uh, mark we've got in the studio with us right now uh, we're just kind of trying to find out a little bit about the festival people that are maybe not from canterbury people um, who have maybe never heard anything about canterbury college before in a nutshell what is this whole kind of two weeks about well, hi, Rob. Nice to see you again. Um, it's a two week festival of creativity and it's uh, not only just my faculty, which is the arts, music, performing arts and mm. dance um, and media. Um, it celebrates anything that's creative in okay. young people of uh, which are, who are in the population of Canterbury College. Well, looking through the kind of schedule list that you, you've got on like tonight, I'm looking kind of like you've got year one and two bands performing yeah. in the departments. You've got a students exhibition in, in media, games development exhibition. Um, so far this week, you've done so much. It's crazy. I mean, just check out the website for more. It's just canterburycollege.ac.uk and just um, have a look at the, the creative festival. So far, you're a week in. Yeah. You've got another week to go. Yeah. For you, um, you're a faculty head, aren't you? That's here? right, yes. Um, what, what's kind of been the highlight for you? Well, the highlight, I think, um, may be yet to come. Next week, okay. next week we have uh, 200 primary school children visiting the, um, the Canterbury College site okay. um, to, under, to, to use it as an educational tool. Wow. So uh, it's... It, it's going to be loud. That's mad. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a lot of kids, yeah. So, I mean, uh, th- things to come up, I'm looking through the, the, the schedule list to say, check out the website. Um, you've got a lot of new bits that haven't been done this week. It's not just a repetition uh, no, week no, one, week two, is all. it? No, we've, we've got a whole programme of live bands at every lunchtime. Um, we've, we've got um, activities, like I said, for the children. We've got uh, dance and performances going on. Uh, really, it's just a, a, a two-week manic buzz of, of c- a celebration of everything that's good about Canterbury College and the student cohorts. So, uh, a real arrogant question, but without it meaning to be, what's the kind of, what's the game? What, what's the idea of this? What's the point of doing it? You know, people listening at home, I think, you know, oh, well, you know, great, everybody's achieving. So what, what, do, what do we want to get out of this as a college? What I want to get out of it from, from the faculty and from the college perspective yeah. is to show off. I'm okay. sorry to say that, but that's, no, no. that's true. Our students are the best. Um, it's, it's quite amazing as you walk through the... Um, I mean, it's always been impressive, and I know we've got some students here. We'll, we'll talk to them in a minute, including um, the guy who's even made the KMFM Extra logo. As you walk through the front doors, it's just like... It's not a case if you walk in. I rem- always remember this at like, my school, and you guys might as well, like secondary and that. You walk in, and it's uh, you know it's not a show and tell, because that would be, that'd be out of order, but kind of like a creative day. We just walk through a couple of doors, it's like, you know, picture from Johnny, he's designed out of potatoes and colour bits and pieces like that. As soon as you walk through a store, it's just bang. Yeah. It's like industry standard as if you've walked into Owls Court. Absolutely. Yeah. And that for me is kind of pretty impressive. I know you talk about kind of Canterbury as being like, you know, the most impressive students we've got in Canterbury. But I mean, from from a county wide perspective and probably even more so from a, you know, a UK perspective as well, it's, it's amazing. Well, I mean, there's, the stats are very clear. It's, it's, we've only got 30% of our students are actually from Canterbury, just thirty. Yeah, yeah. The rest, the rest, travelling up from all over the county, as far as uh, as far as Sheppey, um, wow. some from Paddock Wood, um, a lot of students from Dover and Deal, uh, and obviously Herne Bay, Whitstable, um, and and Fannet. So it's um, the the reputation is getting out there. People are willing to come and and do that extra mile to to get the the extra qualifications and the extra teaching. All of the tutors, for instance, all professional. They all. They all practice what they preach. And then most of them are here tonight. They're all here tonight, yeah. Um, Friday night, which, you know, and still at school. <laughs> yes, still at school, yeah. Um, so just before we, we kind of wrap up, I just want to kind of find out, you know, from a point of view of, you know, you guys are showing off, you're clearly going to um, uh, attract attention, uh, positive uh, attention from yeah. people who want to join the college. Um, silly question, but for somebody who doesn't know, maybe someone who wants to come and look around, is that yeah. possible? How does that work? Well, we've got an open day coming up on um, 
a week Wednesday, but next week, next Wednesday, um, on the 22nd, we have a Creative Industries Help Desk, basically. Okay. Any parent, any student that wants to know a bit more about what it means to be um, in the Creative Industries, which is one of the largest employers in the South East region. Cool. Um, that's an opportunity to come along and have a chat and, and we hopefully will be able to give them some impartial guidance but also the show's on so we're, we, we, we can show them what, what we're about as well brilliant nice one well, thank you very much Mark Hallam round of applause please for the studio you, wicked right next we'll be chatting to some of the students who are, are currently uh, in Hamilton our studio uh, we'll play some music first it's extra yes. So if you're listening again, welcome to College. It's the Creative Arts Festival. This is Rob, Nick and Ickles live from Canterbury College. Um, God, we've been out for hours, Will. <laughs> Will knows our pain because uh, Will, he is Mr. KMFM Extra. We, we put the shows together. We've got the bosses who pick the music. We've got the guys who put us out on the streets. But this fella here designed the pink blob. <laughs> Come on. Nice work, Will. Nice work. Thank you. Um, well, first of all, you, you've got to appreciate, I mean, have you seen some of the videos we've done with Testicles where we've painted yeah. in pink? We've Everything has been designed around your pink blob, your yeah. your idea. Um, I know you brought one of the other guys who got down to the last two with you, yeah. Chris, um, Chris, who, who designed uh, an, another amazing logo. Um, first of all, guys, I need to say, because um, we haven't said it in public yet, I don't think, is that, that them logo designs were just immense. Absolutely mm-hmm. immense. I mean, without um, upsetting anybody else, they were the best we had. So, um, congratulations to you guys. So, what, what's the what's the plan? And you've obviously KMFM Extra logo was part of a bigger story for you, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, well, there was. We've been doing, doing lots of live projects, mm. um, and they've really helped me. You know, move forward and go to uni and get a place at uni. By live projects, you mean you know we came in, we briefed you, you go away. Yeah. Just some feedback then. How did our brief stand up to some of the others? Who else have you done some uh, some some bits and pieces for? Well, we've done uh, we've done the beanie in Canterbury. Um, beanie, remind me. Um, it's the the new museum that's opening. Um, yeah, basically just advertising them because they're going to reopen in sort of next year. Sweet. And uh, yeah, we've been doing a lot of stuff for them and with Laura Thomas, which is an artist as well, that she's exhibition. At, so yeah. cool. So it's been a busy time for you. Yeah, it's been really. Busy. So um, off the back of the KMFM extra logo, you've now finished up here. This is kind of what your last night. Yeah. Here, or what's the deal? Uh, I finish next week. Next week. And uh, yeah, and then I'm off for the summer and then back to London uh, for uni. So, uni. Where, yeah. What uni are you going to? Um, London College of Communication. Wicked. You happy then? Yeah, I'm really happy. With that. Real. Um, for other people that are listening to the show that want to get in I've seen that logo that you designed for us or have looked at Beanie or um, some of the other designs that you guys have done here I mean I must admit we, when we walked into the college and we come to speak to you guys and you all sat there and kind of looked at it as if we were mad you know we sat down and spoke to you about the idea of extra what the plan was with it what the music we were going to do the stunts and all that kind of stuff and for you guys then to, to, to come up with this stuff you, you can't but agree that Canterbury College has got some amazing flair yeah, there's so much talent here, yeah. Um, really when you're working with some of the other guys in, in your department, you know, your tutors and stuff, I mean, is it difficult to be that creative or has this college really helped you out? What was the plan? What's no, the yeah, the tutors have been amazing and uh, all the students are great. Everyone's really friendly. Um, yeah, it's just like a bit of rivalry going on there, a bit friendly. I thought there might have been, yeah. yeah <laughs> so, so everyone's trying to get ahead and do so, yeah. And before we let you go, um, off the back of the KMFM Extra logo, because uh, we, we can pay you, we sent you to the Brit Awards, didn't we? Yeah, that was amazing. Was yeah. it good? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Uh, best artist, best act? Um, take that were really good. Um, Woo! And yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It's me then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I quite like Adele as well. She was really good. She was incredible that night, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she was amazing. It was like amazing to be there. And so when we come back to the college in two years' time and say we want a refreshed um, wheel design, um, what, would you, what would you say to people that are, have been given these live demos? Um, it's such a good opportunity, you know, grasp it and you never know where you end up and what's going to happen. And it's, yeah. Sweet. Well, round of applause, Mr. Pink Blob. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Like oh, 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 oh. Here's moving like came from extra live from Canterbury College Friday evening welcome to the show this is uh, Rob Ickles and Nick in the studio as well with us tonight as we celebrate the Creative Arts Festival 2011 at Canterbury College if you want to find out more about it just check out their website there's a stack of stuff on there uh, it runs from the 13th uh, which is uh, Monday gone uh, to next Friday and between now and then a stack of stuff that you need to see all creative arts from art and design music TV and film media production games development yes that's what we want Ickles 
Uh, we wa- we basically want to design the next Call of Duty. Um, uh, but as well as that, we're talking to some of the students as well as the lectures and stuff because you know what? I'm not much older than this next lad. Uh, to introduce yourself. What's your name? I'm um, Ben. Ben, and we from Canterbury. Dover. From Dover. Yes. Okay. How old are you, Ben? I'm 17. 17. Right. So what do, what have you been doing at the college? Um, I'm an A-level student, so I don't just do drama. I do media and English, but out of all of them, if any of my lectures are listening, please don't take this to offence, but we'll I do out. prefer drama. You prefer, right, brilliant, okay. But that's only because you prefer that subject, hmm? isn't it? Yeah. You've got to say it more confidently than that. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's the... I, I ask this question to everybody, and it, it kind of annoys me when I listen back to this stuff, because I'm like, you're just asking the same questions. But the fact is, is everybody's got some kind of plan. It might not be the right plan. It might not even happen that way. God, I didn't want to be on the radio, and it happened. I'm really sorry to everybody that's listening, because there's probably a lot of people <laughs> that think the same. Um, but what what is the plan for Ben? What do you see yourself doing, you know? Um... I just love being creative, really, and I'm trying to find that in different ways. Um, So acting, directing, writing, and Canterbury College has helped um, me out with this quite a lot. I mean, um, in drama, we don't just do acting, we do directing as well. We've just done a, um, for our exam, we have to direct and create and write a piece of theatre ourselves and we perform it. So that helps um, quite a lot of the things I want to do and all of one so so you spoke about your lectures before I mean that's that must be a really important part of this whole creative process because mm. uh, I, I strongly believe this surround yourself with negative people you become negative yourself surround yourself by positive people creative people you'll naturally bounce off of them and it mm. grows into something that you've got now um, for uh, you must have left what so you, mu- you left school what, after you've done your GCSEs yeah there was a reason for that is a lot of that down to what they offer here is that down to uh, the tuition you were getting here what is that kind of like a whole package or what's um well i was looking around different um colleges and some secondary schools sure and i was um just i wanted to do certain specific subjects that would help benefit what i want to do in the future but none of them like offered like certain things i wanted to study in that certain subject if yeah yeah um so and i looked at canterbury college and had a look at what they were doing and it's exactly what I imagined it to be and it's really good it's right okay well definitely check out the website to see what kind of stuck Ben's helping at it uh, it's just canterburycollege.ac.uk a uh, round of applause for Ben please and good luck man. thank you extra extra from Canterbury College creative festival check evening check that out what they playing that's my song that's my song where my drinks I've been getting we don't want to go home it's Canterbury College live in a studio the mayor of Canterbury please make some noise well, Ian, welcome to the studio. This is uh, Ken with Mitchell Live from Canterbury College. It's the Creative uh, Festival 2011, and um, it must be pretty uh, a big eye-opening moment for you because uh, as much as um, you get to see a lot of things, there's what one massive college producing incredible work like this in Canterbury. So it must be really nice for you to come down it's, and see it, this. It's a delight and a privilege and a pleasure because I've, I've always been in the world of commerce, so I'm, I'm not a person who's had an experience of art. So it's fascinating to see you to come here. And I only hope that the experience I've had from running my own business and from having people, a few people working for me, the, the thing I would say that you, all of you, you get a good idea, but you must make money from it. You must learn to convert what your good ideas, your good designs, your good writing, your good vocal skills, go and make money from it. Because if not, other people will. And you've got that advice earlier, and I really do think, sell yourselves. I mean, you're not short of enthusiasm, you're not shy, you're not retiring, but you must go out there and earn a living because, I mean, Canterbury is is the centre of culture in East Kent, and I need and want to see the whole of the culture side expanding. I mean, we've got the Marlowe opening very shortly. Mm. We've got sort of the... Arts, arts in Margate. We've got the, the work done in Folkestone, mm. and I and I actually had the privilege last night. They did the very first award show for culture at the your competition, the other university, which I probably shouldn't mention. <laughs> but <fair>. never, the, <laughs> but nevertheless, the standard of work I've seen. I'm absolutely sure that lots of your people in the not too distant future will be going there and vying for the prizes that you know I saw handed out last. And I really hope in a year or two, should I be invited back to that show? I will have the privilege of seeing people and say, I met you two years ago because I'm looking forward to it. Well, that's the point, isn't it? You know, you look, you look forward to, you know, us, us as radio presenters, we go back and we look at, uh, we go and meet people that, you know, our old teachers and stuff, and they're mm-hmm. quite impressed to see where you've got on to. And I mean, the creativeness at this college, yeah. it cannot, 
I, I can't see anything other than big things happening with some of these students. I mean, we've spoken to some amazing people today already um, and seeing some of their incredible work. Uh, I mean, f from your point of view, what have you seen so far that you've really thought, wow, that's incredible? Oh dear. Um, that's a big it's, question, isn't it? It is a big question because you look at the ceramics and I have no skill in ceramics and I saw <laughs> wonderful plates and wonderful metalwork and I thought, oh, that's great. And then I've just seen the fashion show and people, you know, ideas. There was a girl there who got um, playing cards around the dress. I thought, how brilliant. What a, what a, what a different idea. So, you know, it's, it's not, you know, which do you prefer, you know, chalk or cheese? Both of their places. I've just seen so many things here that you think... Can I remember? And then I went into your television studios around the back, and there's a someone had done a little piece on a motorcycle, like a baby motorcycle. And I went all around the studios and all different television. Work. How do you say? Well, is that better than a plate? I don't know, but it's fascinating. And someone who doesn't know how the back it's done in the background. So I'm what we're saying is, we need to get the mayor um, some pots made, um, a nice dress with some playing cards and a sign in the TV studio. Be happy, yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> let me ask you this way: If you do, I'm going to put all of them into the auction that my my Lady Mayoress charity will have not so not for me so anything that any of you students have finished with that you want to say because we we I'll do a plug I'm sorry we're doing two charities one's called Hounds for Heroes which is for quadriplegics people severely disabled who are in the military or police or ambulance okay and we they are t helped and supported by dogs that are trained to do a great many things okay. and the other one we're doing the dogs trust so anything nothing for me but anything that you, or if any of you want to do an outreach project with either of those, I invite you to it and we will assist you in any way possible. Brilliant, well you heard it here. If you uh, want to get involved in that, uh, email via the website and I'm sure we can, we can hook you up. So thank, thank you very you much for the invitation. The thank you very much. Extra from Canterbury College, Creative Festival Evening. Oh, yeah. Came from Extra, we're live from Canterbury College. Welcome to the show. This is Rob Wills, Nick, and Ickles here with us. Uh, we've been up a long time now, and it's uh, fast approaching uh, quarter to seven. We've still got to talk to the principal, Chris. Should I be worried? Uh, yeah. Right, okay. Do you want to give me any more than that? or? Um, I've never had the opportunity to speak to her. Seriously, is she, is she like Batman? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. <laughs> I didn't mean she was going to cry and fight me. I meant like, oh, yeah. I couldn't find her, but that's fine. No, we can work with that. Uh, Chris Hall, I've met you before because you and Will uh, were the last guys that got down to the uh, KMFM Extra logo design. Yeah, uh, which one did you think was better? Uh, I thought mine was better. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, I thought you might. Um, they, it was a pleasure working with you guys. I said to Will, it's the first opportunity we've had because obviously we got the logo and then three weeks later we were on air with it. So, yeah. But now you're here and I can see you. Thank yeah. you. Um, you did some amazing work. Um, have you got anything on show here at the moment? Uh, yeah, I've got a few works up in the graphic design design um, upstairs uh, right at the top of the college but um, it's mainly it's just about the opportunities we're given here to be able to showcase our work and show it off to like all, all, all the different all the different parents and families that come to the college yeah because it's 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 really important it's really important to us that we get our work kind of advertised so that can lead to greater things once we finish college money as the mayor yeah. said earlier I love that quote now I know you're great at it but I just want to see you make money mm. oh, it's just yeah. fantastic um, and that, that's kind of the route that you want to go down yeah yeah most definitely I mean I've, I've been offered a place at Canterbury Christchurch in Broadstairs have you which I'll, hopefully take, which I'll hopefully be taking in September cool man and um I'd like uh, that would be studying a BA in graphic design. So what what's kind of like after then? And what's the difference between you and Will, for example? Because I don't know the academic route. I, I, um, I, I don't really. I understand primary. Yeah. After that, it's a bit <laughs> of a. <laughs> I mean, I'll, after that, I just just get rich, to be honest. So the deal is, so you're both kind of doing the same thing. Will's still in the in the studio. You're both doing the same thing. Mm. So it's the same, like, but just different yeah. units, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you'll be basically taking him on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. It's, a, it's a competitive industry. It's an exciting time. So you, obviously, from you, when you talk about graphic design, is there any particular route that you want to go through? Or um, I, I'd really like to be in the advertising business, being okay. able to being able to market things and be, being able to advertise companies and have my work printed on huge bills boards and things like that well I must admit there was one thing the mayor did say that I thought you know that's a fair point is that they, or was it somebody else I can't remember somebody said that um, the creative arts is one of the biggest employers and I don't think that will ever end I think there'll be fluctuations in what you get paid mm -hmm. but I don't think that will ever end everybody still everybody will need to advertise something somewhere yeah. everybody needs to be told about stuff there's always products that need pushing and, and what have you and I think you guys are yeah. pretty good at what you yeah, do yeah exactly because uh, every, every, everything you see has to be designed from the labels on your ketchup to your 
exactly to, to, to the CD covers of your music that you buy and things like that. So I mean, it's a it's an industry that will never stop. And where's the university in Broadstairs? Uh, just uh, behind Westwood Cross, which is so perfectly situated for a KFC. Yeah, wicked, Chris. Perfect. Enjoy it, man. Yeah. We'll right. The sun goes down, the stars come out, and. Okay, it's the KMFMH show. We're live in the studio at Canterbury College for the Creative Arts Festival 2011. This is Rob, Nick and Ickles uh, have come down here. It's uh, getting a little bit later than uh, last time we spoke to you, but we're trying to get through as many guests as possible. Uh, and we're doing quite well. We've got Kai and Alex in, which I'm not going to lie to you guys. You've got massively long hair. You've got black hoodies on. You're not Kylie fans. No. Not all the time. Not all the time, just on Sundays. Yeah. Um, what, what are you do, doing here? I mean, t- in, in the politest way. <laughs> what are you guys doing tonight? Uh, we do level three music performance. Okay. And what you, for somebody who doesn't really understand what that mean me? What what would that mean? What's level three? What's the difference? Level one, level two? What what's kind of like? How does it work? Uh, it's just really for people that are different levels, like where they are in music, because most people will start learning their instrument. Like I play guitar, and I sort of learned before I came to college. Okay. And um, it's sort of they just put you in, like they ask you what your limits are, and they put you, they judge where you are, and. And that's where the level one, two, three sits. It's yeah. not. It's not a case of years or anything like no, that. No, no, the same, okay. same sort of time scale. Just what, all right, sweet. What's the kind of the deal with your course? Is it talk me through it? Because I generally do not know. What do you do when you come in? As how old are you guys? 16, 17? 17. 17. Uh, Seventeen years old. You come from school. Yeah. What school's local? Yeah, uh, sandwich. Yeah, sandwich tech. Okay. Uh, come here. Um, you started. So this is the end of what your first year. Yeah. Pretty much. And what have you done in that first year? Well, for me personally, I've grown. A massive amount in confidence. Like I've never been very confident in front of people, okay. so I sort of chose the wrong thing to do, really. But I just love playing music. And but maybe the the, the music is more of a self esteem builder than if definitely. you went to do yeah, self esteem yeah. classes <laughs> or whatever. You know, it, it's it's a, it's an outlet, isn't it? Yeah. And what about you, Kai? Um, well, I've improved on my instrument quite a lot. What do you play? Uh, drums. Okay. So you look like a drummer. <laughs> Cheers. I'm surprised you can see through yeah, um, but whatever. Yeah, I've improved quite a lot and. Uh, I've learnt like the theory stuff as well, which I had no idea about. Because, to be honest, being a drummer, I don't really need to know that kind of stuff okay. most of the time. But yeah. So what's next? Next year is looming. What you finish next week, don't you? Uh, no, a couple of weeks, I think. For you got a couple more weeks yeah. than the other guys. Okay, so um, you finish in a couple of weeks, then you got a massive summer holidays to go and rock out <laughs> in yeah. the garage and that. Uh, and then what, what what happens after? Then you come back, and then what what's the kind of progression for you guys? What is the outcome of it? What happens by the time you leave? What do you want to achieve from this college? Well, just be uh, like more professional players and stuff, really. Um, be able to put on a show and everything. So you want to be performers, don't want to be session guys or anything like that, or just wherever the money is? Well, yeah. That's right the, answer. The plan is just to grab him and go on tour. Wicked. So. Love it. In a little VW camper van. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> um, so have you been, uh, as proper music fans, I'm, I'm, I hope you've done this, and if you haven't, you should slap your wrists. Um, have you been watching some of the other guys? Yeah, yeah. Um, and have you got quite a few of your friends playing in the, in the Creative Festival as well? Because we've got next week as well. And I'm just looking through like the schedule, and there's stacks of stuff coming up next week, and there absolutely yeah. stacks and stacks of stuff. Um, is there a lot of kind of crossovers there when I, when we talk about music? You know, it's not just heavy rock, metal, rah! a massive genre of um, of music. Really, there's jazz, pop, wow, all the way down to us. And uh, yeah. can you say that you appreciate that music? Yeah, definitely. Like. I can. I think that's why I like metal in a way because I appreciate the effort people put in. I mean, I can appreciate people like messing around on computers and coming yeah. up with beats and stuff, but I just Me. can't sort of appreciate <laughs> it more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise, uh, Kai and Alex. Nice one, cheers, guys. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> All right, it's Cam from Extra Live from Canterbury College for the Creative Festival 2011. We're back in the mo. Right, it's KMFM Extra, it's Rob at Canterbury College. We're live from the Creative Festival 2011, whether you're listening to this live or listening to it again on the web or at canterburycollege.ac.uk. Nice one for doing that. Now, Heidi, you've been waiting around for ages to talk to me. You're smiley, yeah. you're happy. <laughs> um, you're having your picture taken and it's all a bit crazy. Um, first of all, thanks for sticking about because um, you've got a very similar story to me. We're not going to go into it too much, but it's a negative into a positive. Yeah, yeah. Uh uh, I'm glad that I chose to come to the college instead of staying at um, maybe staying at school and doing A levels. Even though I got the grades to stay so at school, you were at a grammar school. Uh, blitzed the GCSEs. Yeah, I did. I got good grades at my GCSEs, and I had the chance to stay at a grammar school. But I chose to instead of stay there, go to college and do an art course. And um, why though? What what was the thinking behind that? Uh, I, l- 
every every lunch time and things at school I was always in the art studios always looking around always loved art and loved doing textiles and getting involved with things to do with creativity and DT and I just thought well if I'd made my choices for the grammar school I'd want to choose all creative subjects right. and um was that an option uh, you weren't well. We weren't meant to choose all creative subjects. Okay. We had to choose some academic, and then I came to the open day at Canterbury College, and the teachers seemed lovely, and everyone was really welcoming, and there was lots going on here, and I decided that this f- felt right. I felt like this was where I should go, and then I've been here two years now. Um, I chose to come here, and I've been doing an art course for two years. Uh, level three and um, it's been the right choice because I've had so many opportunities I've been working with the Pilgrim's Hospice Canterbury I've just redesigned the new building so that they're sending off um, some Google SketchUp I've done Wow! to get a grant to get some money for the new design seriously and uh, so that's just going through process at the moment. Wow, so just imagine that in like 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years time and you drive back to Kent and you go to your kids. Do you know what, I, I actually drew that. I drew that on a piece of paper. That's pretty epic, isn't it? That is pretty amazing. Um, your second, well, actually, do you know what I think is on par with that was what we were talking about earlier on? Uh, yeah, uh, another opportunity I had was uh, the Page Turner Gallery in Margate. Um, I entered a competition and um, I went to the presentation evening. I got shortlisted from 450 people. Wow. And um, I came a runner-up in the uh, further education section and uh, I came a winner uh, out of the 450. Five of us got chose to... um, from September the 17th yeah uh, get our work exhibited at the Turner Contemporary alongside artists such as Andy Warhol so I'm looking forward to it just Andy Warhol you know whatever (laughs) it's just like one of the most amazing and most important artists of our time that how does that feel has that even sunk in yet Uh, it feels wonderful (laughs) is it you're really happy with it yeah I'm really Um, excited again back to what the mayor was saying earlier on you were here when he when he was talking about that turning creative arts into money is is kind of like what he was talking about earlier which you know might not even i don't know has it crossed your mind yet uh yeah i guess everyone wants to sell their work yeah. but uh i also like i get other ideas in my head like tonight at the show i made a textile piece and a sculpture piece like combined okay but it's not a piece that would be sold as such. Right. It's more of something to be displayed in an exhibition. Okay. Like if I had the opportunity to move it on to a new exhibition and show it again, um, it would be an exhibition piece rather than something that someone I'd sell and someone would have it in their house. Okay. All right. Okay. That kind of makes sense. I know nothing about art <laughs> at all. I'm nothing. You guys. Yeah. Um, so what what is next though? Uh, next. Uh, from September I'm going to be staying at Canterbury College because I love the facilities here I think it's a good place the teachers I get on with all the teachers and all the staff if I ever need anything they're always there for me Um, so I'm going to be doing a foundation degree in art practice and that means it's um, like it's a degree but it's only two years and if you want it to be a full degree you have to do a third year BA top up and um, then I'm hoping maybe the third year to go into teaching maybe wow that's what you want to do that you want that to be the outcome I want to be a teacher so maybe a primary school teacher or a secondary school art teacher you do know that a primary school all they do is play with like Pritt stick and acrylic paint they're not going to be able to make what you make you know that yeah (laughs) Yeah, alright wicked well listen we wish you the best of luck we've seen your stuff and it looks incredible get to the website to see Heidi's stuff and more Uh, big round of applause for Heidi good luck (laughs) Right, it's KMF for Extra, and we're live from Canterbury College. We're pretty much uh, finished for the night, but uh, before we go, do you know what? We've just got hold of the uh, two best people to speak to, actually, because uh, Rachel and Barnaby, yeah, Barnaby. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, loving the name. Loving the name. You're not the first. What has been, like, kind of your job over the last week? 
Um, we haven't really been doing much for this. We've been focusing on our documentaries at the moment, which has been a lot of work. Yes. But this week, what we've been doing is film planning, filming the whole event that is tonight we've been doing the speeches so like tonight was the big night wasn't it really yeah, yeah. setting up the cameras for the speeches and wow. everything to get the main <sighs> bit of it it's yeah. busy really and busy. then we've been doing filming the fashion show which we've been having to run a bit of. so you've kind of been over everything haven't you yeah, yeah you've been much. watching everything and a little bit we've seen the art we've done the music we watched the um speeches and the show we've seen the head do the speech as well you're you're doing documentary and film here is yeah. that is that actually the name of the course or it's, no no it sounds film and better TV. than it is it's an extended national diploma in film and TV Ooh, I know it sounds better it? than it actually you know what, is. it wouldn't even fit on a badge that would it that is <laughs> no. just mad um, so the the idea of that is um, after you've finished what that gives you qualifications for uh, it's the equivalent to three A levels I think yeah okay the official line is you can go straight into the industry go to an editing house work there get an apprenticeship or you can go to uni theoretically okay theoretically. cool so I mean. I mean, that's, I assume, what you want to get out of this is you guys want to be able to... Um, I want to go to uni. Right, I don't, okay. I don't want to go straight into business. I want to go to uni, meet people. So it's, and a lot of the universities that do what we do have people who work in the industry. I mean, there's the Met Film School, which is hopefully where I want to go. It's not okay. particularly easy to get into, but that's built on Ealing Studios, which is a working studio. Yeah, sure. I mean, they've just um, done... The St. Trinian films, and they used to do all the Carry On films, and yeah, it's a very famous studio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what about you, Rach? I think I'm going to try get into the industry. That's what I want to do. I wow, two very separate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, completely opposite. Um, I don't want to finish with the loan, even though there are ways to do it. I think I want to try get into it. Start maybe from the bottom, work my up, and eventually get into directing. Wow. Hopefully. What do you what do you want to get out of it in the end, Barnaby? I want to become a director as well. Yes. <laughs> so completely. You know there's gonna be a fight, didn't you? Same. You know that there's gonna be a fight. I will win. Oh uh, well, um obviously this is giving you as much as it's it's not as cutthroat as the industry, I, I suppose in yeah. a way it's a practical um, experience. You just you can't buy that stuff, can you? I mean the gear well, that you guys are working with as well, just alone, like money wise, is it's just uh, the school I used to go to well, I didn't do this at the old school, but years ago I used to make films and you just have the equipment's terrible. Mm. You just can't get hold of decent equipment. I mean, it's a budget cam- in it and the rest a of it, camera yeah. that you're going to make a half decent, something that looks merely mildly professional, it's five, six thousand pounds. Mm. If you're looking at something that you want to make it's good, you're looking at 50. Also, here you get quite good work experience. Right, okay. We get people coming to the college saying, Do you have a few students to do this? Yeah. A few students in our class have just done a promotional video for Greenpeace. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. And we get people coming all the time asking. To a lot do of the second years have been doing um, training videos for Phoenix and. Sweet. That sort of thing. So, again, a lot of live briefs, a lot of live experience. Yeah. And stuff. Cool. People think Canterbury College and then we could use some of their students. So it's a good place to be if you want sort of work Sp- experience. Association, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah. You guys have probably been up nearly as long as we have. So, uh, we're, we're going to uh, thank <laughs> you very much for coming. Barnaby and Rachel, nice work. Thank you. Thank you.